Bills. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our next topic, which is going to be the Cowboys crush Eagles 33 to 13 on SNF and and are now uh top are top of the NFC East. What a moment for this team. This team is going to be very very happy moving forward for the if rest of the season. Cowboys are playing absolutely lights out. Dak Prescott is heavily favored in the MVP race as well, too, this year. CeeDee Lamb is having a out-of-this-world season as well, too. Just absolutely incredible, incredible stuff happening for that guy as well, too. Um, you know, the, Tony Pollard has picked up where he left off, and they got other running backs as well, too, that are very skilled. Then he got the three-headed monster with the tight ends as well, too. And then you got a great X factor in Brandon Cooks at the end of the day. Brandon Cooks played in two consecutive Super Bowls. He was a very key piece to those teams as well, too. And this is probably the guy that you need to put you over the top to get to where you want to get to, and that's the Super Bowl. So you know what? The Cowboys only focus right now on Super Bowl. They know, they know they're a playoff team. They know all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, their job is to get to that that Super Bowl. The Cowboys haven't been in a championship game in almost 30 years. And they're going to be in the championship game this year with, without a doubt, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if they got to play the Eagles again, they'll kick the Eagles' ass again because they're that much better than the Eagles this season, in my opinion. They should have won the first game in Philly. Because the Eagles, to me, are a bunch of robots. You know what I mean? They have really, really talented players. But they run with a very, very mechanical playbook. You know what I mean? And they don't have a great coach. Their coach is really just riding the momentum of a great team. You know what I mean? If you gave somebody like eh, Bill Belichick the Eagles right now, they wouldn't have lost the game this season. Because he keeps the discipline going. He ain't going to be acting like nobody's friend, okay? He's not going to be your buddy, all right? He's not doing that. He's going to coach you. His coaches are going to coach you, you know? And I think that the Eagles may have a little bit of bad luck. You know, you got sideline people interfering in games and stuff like that. You got people just way too into – the Twitterverse and all that good stuff. And you see the San Francisco 49ers, you see the uh, Cowboys, their players aren't doing all that. They're not worried about opinions from people outside of that locker room. But the Eagles are. And that's where you really go and tell yourself, this team, y'all didn't, y'all didn't gave them way too much. It's way too much going on with this team right now. So, you know, at the end of the day, I don't like where the Eagles are going. They'll still make the playoffs. They'll still be one of the top teams in the very weak NFC. But at the end of the day, they're not better than the Cowboys, and they're not better than the 49ers. So it is what it is. And I don't care who's pissed off about it. That's my opinion. I think that the Eagles are a team that's absolutely drowning right now. And I saw it coming from a mile away. I saw it coming last month when they kept being in close games with teams that they weren't supposed to be in close games with. And then the Jets loss should just give you everything you should know about this team. If you play them hard, they'll bow down. Okay? If you play them hard enough, they'll bow down. And that's exactly what the Cowboys did. That's exactly what the 49ers did. They didn't play no games with this team. They absolutely sat them down and said, you know what? You're going to enjoy this. So it is what it is. Cowboys looking good. Possibly could win the whole NFC. They could be the number one seed right now. They are atop of the uh, NFC East. I think they will stay at the top of the NFC East as well, too. So, with that, that will be a wrap on our NFL aftermath for week 14. So, you guys.